This might be one of my favorite things in the whole world. I really have to stop drinking sodas. I, uh, I've been drinking sodas really heavily for a long time. And uh, just recently I quit for like six weeks. And uh, people asked me, did I make me feel better and stuff like that when I quit drinking sodas. And I didn't actually notice that there was any any improvement, you know. But whenever I started drinking them again, I noticeably felt worse. Uh, it was harder to sleep through the night. I go to the bathroom more throughout the night. I uh, just don't sleep as well. Way lower energy. So, uh, I know that they're bad for me. I just love them so much. But um, I've got two here. I think I've got one inside in the fridge. And I've got six of them at the house. And when I'm done with those, I'm going to enjoy every single one of them. But when I'm done with those, I'm going to quit drinking these sodas. And uh, last time that I quit, it took about four weeks to actually start enjoying water. Uh, but after about four weeks, I actually looked forward to drinking water. So uh, I know I just got to do the right thing and uh, for myself, you know, for my body. My mom's diabetic, and uh, I would for sure hate to go down that road. So uh, this is my commitment to you guys and myself to uh, to cut this shit out. Uh, all right, real quickly before I ramble on about these pennies, I've got a quart jar full of pennies here. It's just a regular quart jar. It's a pump full of pennies. Pause it real quick and guess how many pennies are in this. I'm going to take these to the coin star and... Uh, find out how many pennies are in it so real quick just comment a number down in the bottom so we can see how close that you guys were alright uh, <laughs> some of you guys know that I'm, I'm a coin junkie I love coin change if you have coin change in your pocket I'm probably gonna ask you to look at it um, if there's a penny on the ground I'm gonna stop and pick it up no matter what I don't care if my hands are plumb full I'll set something down to pick up a penny so uh, yeah, there's pennies on the market right now that you couldn't buy with a hundred thousand dollars. So um, uh, it's kind of cool as far as that, but mostly I just uh, I just love old coins. But anyway, so I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about this. Every penny from 1981 and older is made with copper, mostly copper. I think it's 92.5, but it might be 95, 97.5, something like that. Anyways. Uh, in 1982, halfway through the year, they switched to mostly zinc penny. So some of the 82s are copper, and uh, some of the 82s are zinc. Uh, after you learn a little bit, you can tell the difference just by looking at them. But uh, if you're unsure, you can just keep every coin from 1981 and older. Anyways, uh, if you have two pennies sitting side by side, one of them's 1981 and one of them's 1990, the 1981 penny is worth about two and a half pennies worth of copper. Uh, the penny on the right's not even worth a penny, or about a penny. Anyways, um, back in uh, 08, 09, 2010, somewhere in there, uh, copper got really high, and uh, and one penny was worth about five cents worth of copper. Right now, the U.S. Mint still mints uh, pennies, and um, and it's going to continue to for a while. But eventually we will get rid of the penny. Um, it's already not exactly cost efficient to make a penny. Uh, they would like to just go to a nickel, but uh, you know, in the government we have a bunch of lobbyists that lobby the government to get what they want around here. And um, there's actually a penny lobby also. So it's a bunch of coin junkies like me that uh, they just love the penny and they don't want it to go away, so they lobby the government to keep the penny. And uh, obviously that benefits me because I'm a fan of them, but. Uh, so here's the deal. Eventually, when the copper gets high again, the U.S. will stop printing the penny. Whenever that happens, we'll be able to melt down all the pennies that are copper and exchange them in for five times their value of face. So, um, right now it's, um, it's against the law to deface money, so you can't melt the copper down now. You have to store it as a penny. But... It's as simple as just looking at your penny. If it's 81 and older, put it to this side. If it's not, put it to that side. So, 
I actually was just looking at these and I missed one penny. There's a 1975 penny right there and I have a dime in here for some reason. But uh, all of these pennies are zinc pennies, so they're worth a penny. I'm going to take them back to um, toward the coin star today. Uh, the coin star actually cost me 11 cents per dollar to count the coins, but uh, to not have to deal with it, it's worth it to me. Uh, I'm a cheapskate, but uh, that's a lot of coins. So I'm going to drive over to the coin star real fast on my lunch right now. And uh, we're going to see how many pennies are inside this. And then I'm going to use the money to fill up my truck. Alright guys. So. I took the coins to this coin star. Um, I want to say real fast. I average around. Uh, 13 to 14 percent. Copper coins to zinc coins. Um, I started this a couple years ago. Uh, I was averaging about 25 to 26 percent um, copper coins to zinc coins so it is getting a little harder to find the copper ones but you'll still find around six to seven per roll so that would be around 12 to 15 percent um, for a dollar so uh, it's not too late guys if y'all want to start doing this maybe you got a kiddo or something like that uh, this money will definitely add up. There's not very many things that you can guarantee two and a half times your investment. And there's not very many things that are as easy as investing as one penny. So uh, that's why I do it. And uh, here's the deal. I, uh, I took a picture of the receipt and the total coins were 1,244 coins. So $12.44, nine of those coins were copper. So 12, 1,235 coins were zinc and nine coins were copper. So I actually missed nine coins when I was sorting them, but uh, I guess it happens. Anyway, uh, they charged me 11.5%, so $1.43 they charged me, and I left with $11 and one penny, and that penny was zinc also. That's what I do, I just save my pennies, I separate the copper ones, and uh, I send the zinc ones back to the bank. So I got $11, I'm gonna just put it in my gas tank and uh, I've already got another jar at the house that I've started my zinc coins. So we'll probably do this again whenever I, uh, the next time I go to the, drop the coins off. Anyways, um, maybe I'll make another video about coins if you guys are interested in that. Uh, I thank you guys for watching and I'll uh, see you next time.